Are you working as an IT professional and want to join VLSI or semiconductor industry? Then this video is just for you. Stay tuned till the end of the video. In today's Q&A session, we will be addressing a frequently asked question that how can I change domain from software or IT to VLSI? Getting a desired job is all about matching between required skill set for the post and expertise or experience of the applicant. Now VLSI or semiconductor industry is predominantly a domain for people having electronics background. However, there are significant scope for people from computer science background also. For example, R&D teams of EDA companies require people from computer science background. In many IP companies, CAD team is completely run by people who are from computer science background. Moreover, system team, shipping and delivery team require people with strong programming skill. If you are working in IT or software background for quite some time and want to join VLSI or semiconductor industry, then first thing you must do is that try to understand where you stand with your skill set with respect to required skill set that you can do by keeping a close eye on published job openings in different job portal or professional networking site. Try to understand the JD to find out which kind of skill set is required. If you have those skill set, then congrats, half of the work is done. If you lag in skill set, don't get upset, make a plan to acquire those skill set. For domain knowledge of front end or back end or to know about the basics of different steps of VLSI flow, you may join some finishing school and after completion of the course, you will get a certificate. Try to gather some domain knowledge. You might aim to join any R&D team of an EDA company where you will contribute to develop an EDA tool. A little bit generic knowledge knowledge on how the tool will impact a customer's work or where actually in the VLSI flow it is used will help you during the interview. You can find one sample JD on the screen. This sample JD is collected from a job portal. From both the desired skill and qualification section you can get an initial idea about the job role. For this opening the company is looking for a person with degree of computing discipline and with relevant knowledge. This is a typical job opening for people with computing background and almost all product companies need such people. There is another sample JD on the screen. This is a JD for EDA tool developer and they even looking for a person with proven industry experience of 5 years. So there are openings. One need to follow such openings and prepare themselves accordingly. Now once your preparation part is done, rewrite your resume and upload to multiple job portals. Also search for jobs on professional networking sites and apply. Hope today's discussion will be helpful for you. We want to say all the best in advance and want to sign off for today. That is all for today. Stay tuned. Stay focused. Thank you.